Hey guys, as promised, this is a video on the Lenovo 720S. Uh, this is the AMD Ryzen uh, version. It's, I believe it's a 720S 13ARR, as you can see there. Um, it's got the Ryzen 7 2700U, 8 gigs of RAM, and 512 NVMe SSD, uh, and it's a 13.3 IPS panel. So today I'm going to show you what's inside uh, the laptop. Inside the box there's really nothing. Uh, you get a couple of instruction manuals and, you know, standard packaging and whatever. So in order to do this, uh, you're going to have to have some tools, most important being your anti-static wrist strap. Uh, you don't want to blow up your laptop, you know, when you're taking it apart or the first time you've ever, before you ever get to use it. Um, and even though Jay's Two Cents did a recent video on static shocking uh, computer components you can do it if you are accessing vulnerable parts of a computer such as uh, what I'm going to be doing right now so and what you're going to need is a Torquex T4 bit um, I have it with the iFixit uh, um, protecto kit and you're going to need something like a a Phillips zero or a double zero screwdriver for or uh, bit for the internals. There's really not that much to this laptop. Um, it is a very simple version of um, the Ryzen lineup. Basically, the 2700U. You have a Vega 10, I believe. So, and as you can see, when you open it up. It's a 13 inch, so you only have um, uh, space for a reduced size keyboard. There is a fingerprint reader and you have the uh, clicky mouse pad. Um, so I'm going to start taking this apart. Let's put that over there. Okay, and I'm gonna use the included um, whatever this is, cloth thing that the laptop was used to be shipped in. Right now it's charging, so I'm gonna unplug it. Oh yeah, and this is, it does do USB-C charging. Uh, I think it's a two amp. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if it's really on the bottom here. Now, input 20 volt, 2.25 amp. So, there's that. Okay, so this is the bottom of it. And as you can see, it's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tor Torque X4 bits. Um, and here we go. So, full disclosure, I've already disassembled the laptop once just to do it carefully once before I was on camera. Right. The screws are fairly deep. But yeah, also make sure you have a parts tray, um, like the included one with the um, uh, iFixit toolkit, because it's always good to put the screws back where you found them. I do in future want to buy a uh, metallic magnetic parts tray, but this will have to do for now. Okay. Let's unscrew this. Goes in the middle.
and it's this is very similar construction to um, the HP and the uh, 360 Ryzen edition that I had previously shown on the channel. Um, similar method of disassembly, similar um, types of screws, with the exception of there's no, there's nothing covering up the screws. Okay, so now that I have those, I'm gonna move that out of the way for safekeeping. Um, you're gonna want a pry tool. So there are clasps that are used to secure the laptop and it should, once you unscrew it, it should just, parts of it should just pop up. But there is a, some stickers right around here that you need to um, separate with the laptop. So it may require just a little bit of finessing to get up once you've unscrewed everything. Was, how much does it say this thing was? The box was like just about two kilograms. It's, it's not that much. There we go. These are just uh, plastic clips that are securing it. Okay, there it goes. It's very um, light, that's material, probably aluminum. So here we go. This is what's inside. Um, let's make sure I got all that on. There we go. Center it. Uh, this is um, the battery right here. This is the, the CPU sits right here. Um, it has two cooling fans, which exhaust air at the back right there. Um, this is the NVMe SSD. Uh, you have the Wi-Fi chip here. Um, and power it comes in in this area here. Uh, and to disconnect the battery, you would pull that tab out. Although it looks, I don't know. But generally, you should remove the battery first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the SSD. So now that I've gotten in here, I can put this one away. And oh, that's it. Torque, uh, Torque X4. That's it. Um, yeah, so actually, let me show you first where the memory is. Um, yeah, the, this came off right away because it was secured to the so yeah this is the memory cover and you have to be very careful with this because that this pink strip here that's a um, thermal pad that you need to preserve the stickiness and underneath it also has thermal pads so as you can see the, the memory is soldered to the board um, and that plate is just secured with a mechanism like that, so it's, it's, it can come off. So, see the memory? And by the way, this is an eight gigabit, or eight gigabyte, gigabit, uh, eight gig machine. Um, so this would be for um, not necessarily high throughput or high uh, volume workloads like, uh, I don't know, like production graphics or whatever. Um, and I'm going to show you next what's under here. Let's put that there. Take that out. Nothing really of note under here, but it's good to 
show. What else could you want to be that useful? So yeah, this is just these are stickers here. And again, this is the same contact mechanism as that plate there. And underneath there, that's the display cable. So if you were to have to replace the screen or take the screen off, this is where you would remove it. Um, there's also a very fine connector right there. Um, so you have to be kind of careful of it. I'm not going to remove the SSD, but you can do that. And just to show you, it is a Samsung um, 512, but it looks like it's kind of like an OEM version. Model is MZVLB120. So I'm wondering if that's an OEM version. So put that sticker right back on there. And the screws right there as well. So I'm going to put this back very carefully. So yeah, not much to uh, not much to replace if you break anything in this. Uh, you could um, replace the uh, the Wi-Fi, which um, in future you may want to do because I believe there's some new Wi-Fi standards coming out. Um, and in general, though, a lot of the things on this laptop are very delicate in here so you should be should take all necessary precautions to not um, damage anything or or clip anything when you're working inside of here because it is looking at the uh, little resistors in here they're very very tiny and everything is really compact so Interesting. So that is a thermal pad that looks like it was moved from something. Okay, so let's see what goes there. Probably going here. Probably like right. Yeah. So these are the speakers here. These also just kind of pop right out. Um, but it's a very, very simple internal design. There we go. Let's try with this. Okay, let's finish that job up. As you can see, there's really not much to the internals of this thing. Um, you're not going to be able to upgrade the RAM. Uh, I think the RAM is single channel, um, which is not great for the APU, because any uh, with an APU, um, the memory, the RAM, is the memory for the uh, unit itself, including the graphics. So there's no GD, um, there's no GDR5 or anything somewhere else on this motherboard. It's uh, if you need high amounts of video memory, you share it with the uh, CPU, and in that way. Having dual channel memory really does affect performance. You can see a lot of content on this on any number of the popular YouTube channels. 
that we're talking about the Ryzen APUs. Yeah, and I'm kind of uh, trying to get this video to be short enough. But I do want to show you that it turns on after you do that. And of curiosity, this laptop shipped with the battery empty, which is kind of interesting. I've never had that experience. Um, yeah, it requires to be charged up before you uh, use it. Okay. There we go. Let's put the bit back. Okay. Put her back in. But yeah, all you get in the box is this. Uh, power brick, which says max 45 watts, um, output 20 volts, 2.25 amps, 15 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, 5 volts, 2 amps. So I'm assuming that it's a 5 volt, 2 amp requirement for the USB-C port, if you just do USB-C charging. So, there we go, plug that in. You can see the, uh, the power light comes on. And there you can see the uh, Lenovo logging on. So yeah. And this also, of course, has a backlight, which you're not going to be able to see under this lighting. Um, but it does have it. Keyboard backlight, which is important. Uh, fingerprint reader. It's got the number pad. Turn that off. Okay. Thanks for watching.